I think every Wilco record has almost exactly the same trajectory and it's just a shape that I'm completely drawn to and yep. I think almost every Wilco record works its way from some state of confusion or, or um, uh, disillusionment yep. towards some sort of resolve or some understanding or acceptance mm -hmm. or joy. And you mean I, from the very beginning of the concept from, to the execution? No, from the beginning of the record, from the, the, the record. sequence of the record. Right. I think that's just um, maybe not like maybe not so much AM, you know, but almost every record has a little bit of that shape. So mm -hmm. is there a theory of the case musically mm -hmm. that you head into the process of making a record like this with? Do you think to yourself, I want it to sound like this? I don't know what I want it to sound like. I know I don't want it to sound like what I've already done or right. what we've are what other records that I have. Yeah. Um, so um, that was a pretty uh, explicit uh, directive in within the band yep. on this record. There was an overall concept of uh, not discussing anything in musical terms re by referencing other people's records yep. in the studio which happens a lot with guys that have a lot of records and mm -hmm. are in the studio. Yeah. So instead of saying, make it sound like, you know, a guitar part on a big star record, you have to use your imagination and say... The original. Yeah. You have to say, I don't know, that guitar doesn't sound sad enough. Or, <laughs> right. or you know, use language like where you're forced to kind of interpret it. Yeah. I will say that, to your point earlier, every record does sound different to me. Mm -hmm. But they also all sound like Wilco records, which I think is a hard thing to do. There's a narrow strip that you have to hit for it to be different but similar. I, I think, you know, I, it's the same singer for the most part, you know. So. Well, right. Same, and, 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 you know, and sin, <clears throat> since some number of years, not all of mm -hmm. those 22 years, but for some number of years, it's the same composition of people. 15 years. Yeah. Right, it's a long yeah. time. Since yeah. Nels uh, joined the band in 04, it's been pretty much the same. Nels and Pat joined and at Pat? the same time in 04. And yeah. Yeah, um, well, I mean, we were, on this record, w there was an idea that um, it would be fun to use a, a conceptual uh, device to hang the record on, you know, like, so like we can think about it, doesn't need to be apparent to the listener at the yeah. end of the day, and that was um, what, if you'd only ever been told about rock music, and you'd only ever read about it and you were living 100, 200 years from now and you couldn't yep. access uh, much more than that, much more than just some folklore about it. What would you think that it sounded like? What would you, what would you imagine it to be? That's hard to do for, for a bunch of people that have a vocabulary built right. on rock music. So